Hey. Do you know anything about Simone Chapman discharging herself? Uh, I hoped she wasn't going to do that. You just hoped? Or did you pray as well? Because Simone seems to rate your prayers higher than anything us quacks can do for her. Did she say that? Well, if you're telling her prayer's the best medicine, no wonder she's giving up on the tests. I didn't. I was backing you guys up, honestly. Yeah? Well, now she's gone without a diagnosis, so how is she going to get better? Honestly, man, I tried to talk her into staying. Not hard enough. <laughs> nice lunch with the girl of my dreams. It was interesting. <laughs> is that all you can manage? Interesting. She's a sweet girl, Mark, but I'm surprised she's the one you've chosen to settle down with. I see. And who would you pick? Someone more like you, perhaps? <laughs> Someone less complicated, I suppose. Less high maintenance. And she told me about the pills and the depression and the overdose. Yeah, well, none of us are perfect, I guess. I know I'm not. <laughs> and she's fragile. How will she cope with being a doctor's wife? Or having a family or helping to build your career? Could even decide on a wedding dress, for goodness sake. Tanya's tougher than she looks. In any way, the most important thing is that we love each other. Mm. I loved your father once. Hi. Hey. Mm. Well, thank you so much for lunch. My shout next time. My pleasure. Big plans tonight? Romantic dinner for one, eh? Yeah, your mum was busy, man. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Why does Hunter pose for photos? For his wallet? <laughs> hey, Scarlett, ever heard of the term bunny boiler? Honestly, Valentine, I never knew you had it so bad for me, eh? <laughs> In your dreams. <laughs> Staff room. Yeah, yeah, he's just here. It's for you, HDU. Warner. Great. Great. Thanks for telling me. Good news. Crystal. She's stabilised. Oh, well, that is a little Valentine's Day miracle right there. <laughs> You're not wrong. <sighs> and on that note, I am out of here. Hey, um, good call on getting him in, by the way. A good call that could have gone terribly wrong if I'd lost my nerve. Lucky I didn't, wasn't it? Mojitos all round. Thanks, darling. And happy Valentine's Day to the most beautiful bride to be in the whole world. Mm. Hi, guys. Hey. Hi. Oh, hi. Uh, Julia, this is Jay, Maya's partner. Oh, pleased to meet you. You too. Oh, before I forget, oh. paper, right? Um, oh, oh, everyone has forgotten. Nice, uh, Thank you. Thank you. Oh, uh, Jay and Maya had their civil union um, a year ago today. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Okay, a toast. To the next two suckers to take the plunge. <laughs> yeah, and to Jay and Maya on their special day. <laughs> and to our about-to-be baby, which means a toast to the man that we couldn't conceive of doing it without. <laughs> so, cheers to you too, Julia. <laughs> which baby? You're not pregnant, are you? Oh, no, not me. Uh, no, it's Maya. Well, fingers crossed the mm. way, babe. TK is spewing. He thinks that it's my fault that you left. That I've been steering you away from the tests. Simone, you don't know how sick you might be. You're gonna have to go back in there. What's the point? When we both know that you and God are the only ones who can make me better. God works through doctors and nurses every day. Through TK and through everyone else who's been looking after you. But it's only when you talk to God that things start happening for me. Keep doing what God wants you to do, Baxter. As a patient, as a Christian, as a friend, that's all I ask. I've never been so humiliated in all my life. I'm sorry you found out this way. I was waiting for the this right This is not how I raised you, Mark. It's bad enough that it's your fiancé's sister, but a lesbian? Maya is a friend, a very good friend. What's wrong with giving something that means so much? Oh, that's the line she spun you, was it? I trust her completely. We have been close for a long time. I am stoked to be doing this for her. She's going to be a great mother. Oh, if only you could defend Tanya as passionately as you defend her sister. Oh, come on, Mum, that's rubbish. Look me in the eye and tell me this is how you pictured your life. An unstable wife with a drug problem, fathering someone else's child? 
Marrying Tanya will be the biggest mistake of your life, and you know it. Relive the drama of Italia 90 as retired international soccer star Tony Cascarino talks about his early career in this sporting life tonight at 7 here on 1. <laughs>